All right, how you doing? We're going to talk about how it is that you clear a fraction from an equation. So the equation I have up here is 2 thirds x plus 4y equals 2. So the way that you clear this is uh, you have to get rid of the multiples or the factors of all your, your denominators and you need to create them so that it's 1. So you have to find a number that's going to reduce your denominator to being 1. So these ones here where you have 4 and 2 already have denominators of 1. But this one here, the 12, has a, denomin a denominator of 3. So the 2 thirds has a denominator of 3. So how do I change something from being a denominator of 3 to being a denominator of 1? So what you can do here is if you notice that this is in the denominator, if I multiply it by a value that would be in the numerator that would reduce with 3, that would simply take this problem and it would change it to having a uh, denominator of 1. So 2 thirds x plus 4y equals 2. If I want to get rid of that, all I have to do is multiply this particular case is a 3. So if I multiply this expression by 3, okay? So if I multiply 2 thirds x by 3, remember, I must multiply everything that I... Uh, if I multiply one thing, I must multiply everything by that on that side. So here we go. The way that I show that is with the parentheses. So as opposed to me just writing that, I'm going to write it within parentheses. So I go ahead and I do that. Now, because it's an equation, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So I must come to the other side and take this 2 and multiply it by 3. So what this does now is I can take 3 times 2 thirds. So 3 times 2 thirds makes 2x plus, okay, so plus here. I got the 3 times 4y. Well, the numerators, again, this is the beauty of it, that when I multiply this 3, which is in the numerator, by that 4 that's in the numerator, it's going to keep it a whole number, which is 12. So I get 12y is equivalent to 2 times 3, which is 6. So what you have here is I've just came up with a problem in which the fraction has now been re changed to just a problem that does not have the, the fractions anymore. So let's take a look at another example. This problem only had one fraction. So let's look at a problem that has more than one fraction and see what we have to do there. This one was pretty simple. We just multiplied it by this denominator because it was one fraction. So let's look at one that has two. So the problem I'm going to use here is one-fourth x. Let me write that a little bit bigger. So one-fourth x plus two or three fifths y equals uh, four. So now what we have to take a look at is again, how can I make four into a, this fraction with one fourth and this fraction of three fifths turning those denominators that are four and five into something that is a denominator of one. And the way that I do that is I now need to look for a number that both 4 and 5 go into. Because remember that idea where if you multiply one th part of your expression by this amount, you must multiply it again by that amount, by the, the other one by that amount. So if I take a look at this here, okay, I can come up here and I can go, okay, I'm going to multiply this by a value that goes, that goes 4 goes into as well as 5 goes into. And the value that I'm going to look for is basically what multiples of 4 does the mul a multiple of 5 share? So here we go. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That's it. 20. 5 goes into 20 four times. So I'm going to multiply this value by 20. So when I go ahead and do that, I now take 20 times 1 fourth, okay? And then I will be taking 20 times the 3 fifths, and that's going to go ahead and, and, and reduce those to make sure that they're no longer fractions. But it's very crucial that you remember that when you multiply one side by a, an amount, you must multiply the opposite side by the same amount because you need to keep your fraction balanced or your equation balanced. So if I'm going to go ahead and do this, 20 times 1 fourth is 5x plus 3 fifths of 20. Well, 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So 3 fifths of 20 is 12y. And that is equivalent to 4 times 20, which is 80. So what we have here now is we've created a new equation 
in which it is going to be balanced just like this one is, except for the fact that it does not, in this case, have any fractions. So the goal here is to find out for your denominators what value do they both go into so that those denominators will reduce to being 1. So 5 over 1, 12 over 1, 80 over 1. So I hope that helps, and uh, wait to see you next time.